Vending machines are just cool, right? You go out, press a button, get whatever you want. What's cooler than a vending machine is a vending machine like this, man. A fishing frozen bait box saltwater vending machine. So we're out here in Maine at this cool tackle shop. It's got a shark on the roof. I got so excited when I saw that vending machine. So if you guys have been following the channel, man, back in Delaware, we had two different vending machines, right? We had a live bait one, which uh, had a cool freshwater selection. It had worms, it actually had live minnows. South in Delaware, where the saltwater fishing is, we had a saltwater vending machine kind of like this. Blood worm, squid, uh, a bunch of different stuff. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll link those down in the description. I just like vending, it's just something so cool about like going to a vending machine and getting bait for fishing. I have not seen what's in it yet, but we're in Maine. So um, we're gonna have to see what they have in a saltwater vending machine in the state of Maine. Then once we check it out, we're gonna buy something. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck like that random bag of chips every now and then. Basically, we're gonna take the saltwater bait from the saltwater vending machine to the saltwater and try to catch some freaking fish, man. All right, let's go check it out. It might be a little loud because of the road here. Shout out to uh, the guy who works at the tackle shop. Super cool, I was in there looking around a little bit. So, see, first thing we have, striper bait rig. So it's like a fish finder rig. What does that say? Bleeding bait hook? Next we got dillies, crawlers, trout worms, okay. Under that, we're sold out of, it looks like, blood worms, which that is a big bait in Delaware that we use for a lot of different things. I know people up here, I think, use them for uh, striped bass as well. Stripers are just very big around here, I think. Size-wise, but also, like, popularity-wise, I think a lot of people, it's one of the main things to catch up here. So then we got frozen whole mackerel, frozen whole clam, clam, uh, more clam. That is interesting. It's like a clam mountain. And then over here, we got the frozen herring, which they are out of. But this is... So again, this is so freaking cool, man. I just like, I love the idea behind this. I mean, if the bait store is closed, you can come here 24 hours, come by, get some bait. And also, if you're thirsty, you could get something out of that not as cool vending machine over there. So let's see, man. I'm pretty fairly sure out of all this stuff, besides the worms, stripers would eat this stuff around here. I think we're also um, gonna get at least one of these striper bait rigs. A lot of times in the past, we've done like a wheel thing that kind of selects the bait. I think I'm just gonna pick it today. I talked to the guy, he said there's a bunch of these frozen, not frozen, <laughs> frozen mackerel, yeah, are swimming around. I talked to the guy, he said a bunch of mackerel are swimming around. So I think if we go with the frozen one, it's not as good as fresh probably, but I just think that if they're swimming around, it makes sense to try that out um, and we'll get that rig. Take it to the water. Let's try it, dude. All right, hopefully this thing works. Uh, 15. One, five. Hello? Oh, authorizing. Card approved. Vending 15. Hello? We good? Oh, dude, it's like frozen shut, it looks like. Oh my god, how am I gonna get it out? <laughs> Might need to drop kick that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like frozen shut at the bottom. I, I didn't want to like break it or something. Oh, I hear you. I appreciate that. You already buy it? Uh, Nothing, nothing's in there. Not only was the vending machine frozen and it was empty, but dude got me some freezer burnt mackerel from the back of the store. He actually opened it up and there was nothing in the freaking tackle vending machine thing. I don't blame him though. I mean, I'm sure they get a lot of business inside and there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. So the vending machine probably gets, you know, well, it's like an afterthought. Ooh, yeah, it's toasty today. All right, so it wasn't as like satisfying, like hearing it come out of the vending machine, pushing the buttons and stuff. I don't know. Either way, we're going to head over here to the water. We moved campground, so now we're in a completely different part of Maine. We're down south a little bit more, kind of near Portland-ish. So we got some stuff to explore. And uh, we gotta find some new fishing areas. So let me start talking, man. See if we can catch some freaking fish. I'm excited, dude. One thing I think when it comes to fishing that is not talked about enough is how difficult it could be sometimes to find some freaking parking, dude. We're choosing this spot. We'll see how well that strat plays out. Let me get out of the street. Next mission was to find somewhere we could actually access the beach. It looks like I probably can right here. All these signs on all these like little back roads like this. That's said private property and like I was not allowed on. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. Let's go, dude. Whew. Stepping on the beach. Sheesh. Wow. Wow, this is cool. That is the lucky clam shell. Ooh, all right, so this is where we're gonna set everything up. So let's take a look at here what we got from the tackle shop. Unfortunately, the guy uh, when he was telling me about the macro that they had, this is literally everything they had right here in this baggie. He said it might be a little freezer burnt. It's definitely a little stinky. Um, that's, that's not the best looking bait fish, but hopefully the fish don't mind if there's any fish even out here. All right, first things first, let's go set up a little rod holders. These PVC pipes, 
I thought, like literally, I thought I lost them. Searching everywhere for them. All right, let's do one at a time here. I could not freaking find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little circular technique, a little pop, pop, pop. Whoa, you can see when that wave came in right there, just how clear this water is. Oh, somebody's swimming out there too, okay. I don't know if it drops off at all. I don't know, we're just going with the flow here. I don't really know too much about this area. I don't think a lot of people fish here, but that doesn't mean there aren't some kind of fish, right? So the vending machine had this dude in it right here. This is a, oh, look at that. That's a tiny little, I didn't even know it came with a weight. Naughty girl leaders, okay. Supporting the local companies out here. Now I could 1000% tie something like this myself. But we're just gonna go with this on one rod and then we're gonna tie something else on the other and kind of compare, see which one actually works. This is what it comes with, just this little assortment right here. You feed your line through that and then uh, you tie it off, I guess, to this dude right here. And then we got just a little hook on the end. To be honest, man, I'm just going for a fish. That's that's the uh, goal right now. Big dreams, right? Oh. See, with these waves coming in like this, I don't know how there wouldn't be stripers like in that wash too. Hi. Hello. I don't think you want to eat this mackerel. Probably isn't uh, very nutritious for dogs. You look like that dog from uh, Little Mermaid. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's chilly. Oh my gosh. Whew. 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 Oh, that water's so cold. Holy crap. One thing I've really noticed about this area too, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but the sand here, it's like sparkly. Like it looks like glittery almost. All right, let's see if we can cast this. Hopefully the head doesn't fly off. Um, We'll try that. We're just gonna be winging it here today, man. We don't really know. Put that in there. Maybe it's good. Rod number one in the water. I do not have my pliers. Um, hmm. There we go. This is a brand new rod. Loose inshore speed stick, which is that one over there is also. 7.2 medium heavy action, moderate fast. That one is a lot lighter. So this one's a little bit heftier. Could hold up to some bigger fish. Hopefully cast out a little bit further here. Yet again, we're just gonna take the heads of one of these things. I think this is gonna be the easiest to keep on but also it's got all the brains and everything and i just feel like the, the head is always gonna be one of the best parts of the baits so i'll just put it on the tip like that this is where we started we're all the way out here man this is going out out <sighs> all right y'all both rods in the water again the tide is continuously going out so we might have to move them yet again pretty soon here <laughs> oh my gosh is that a freaking bite dude did you guys see that on this rod hello all right um well this tide is no joke keeps going out real quick i guess i should have checked the tide chart but also a bunch of seaweed man keeps getting me wrapped up but what we're kind of hoping for is that there's gonna be some stripers possibly roaming where these waves are breaking and just like a little bit up shallower looking for some food the fish really like to hide out in the white water uh, it gives them cover kind of like bass with you know lily pads and, and other cover like that especially when there's bigger waves little bait fish kind of get banged up by the bigger waves and in that white water they're just kind of like whoa what's going on and the stripers are very good at keening in and you know finding those fish are just very good hunters stripers honestly are like one of my favorite fish to fish for not really baiting and waiting i haven't really done this for stripers as much but you know being out there on the surf or on the jetties casting which we're going to do a lot more maybe later today i'll do some or later this trip all right so we gave it a shot out there on the beach mother nature did not want to happen it's stiff uppercut to the adam's apple so we're the quarterback of our own life we're calling audible right here right so we're out here brand new spot this is really cool let me show you guys so we pulled up to like, uh, I guess it's like a marina type thing. You see, we got some jet skis, we got some lobster pots, got a boat over here. Oh my gosh, those are thick freaking seagulls on top of that building over there. There's actually around this corner. Oh. So this is like the little harbor area. Wow, the water's actually pretty freaking low over here. But over here, there is a jetty that looks like it goes out pretty far. I saw this on Google Maps. So. We're gonna give it a shot over here. Like, look at this, there's some structure. Jetties, I feel like, are just always a good spot to hopefully catch some fish. Oh yeah, that guy's fishing up here. Anything out here? I uh, picked up six so far. All right. That is a good sign. Wow, that looks super sketchy to get down these rocks. They're like all seaweedy. Let's just try like somewhere around here. It's just, it's just gonna be so sketchy to get down. These rocks down there are all wet and uh, 
A lot of them have seaweed and stuff on them. This is like where you really gotta be like actually really careful. Ain't nobody trying to croak out here on these rocks. How slippery is this? Let's just look real quick. Oh, insanely. Okay. We're up a little higher than I'd like. This should work for what we need it to. So we have our bigger of our two rods that we were using earlier. And on it, we have this little, I think it's called a hoagie. It's just like a little bait fish imitation. Hopefully kind of looking like a mackerel or something that these fish would be chasing. Oh, oh my gosh. I just saw a giant school of freaking bass right there. Dude, they're following it. They didn't eat it. Dude, I just saw a big school of freaking fish. What the heck? Oh, dude, there's some over here too. Why are they not eating it? Oh my God, that is so many fish. What in the heck? Why don't they want this? Oh my God. Dude, they're busting out here. Oh, we got it like right over top of them too. Oh my God. All right, please. Please, 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 please. Oh dude, they're tailing out here. What the heck is going on? Oh, I got a, I just had a bite. Holy crap. What other lures do I have? This one is like, for some reason. I got fish. Okay, let's go dude. I had it on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that a striper? <laughs> Dude, call the quick audible. Oh, holy crap. What is that? Oh, I can see. Oh my god. Dude, that's actually big. What the heck? How are we going to get that up here? Oh, he spit it. He freaking spit it. Holy crap, dude. We have this whole place to ourselves with all these fish. That dude's leaving over there to the left. Whoo! That was freaking cool. Well, oh, dude, I see him over there. You can see him through the freaking water. They're just in schools. I guess just chasing bait like this. All right, now this thing's starting to kick a little bit. For some reason, I was reeling it in and it just did not have the action I was looking for, but when we got bit there, it was kind of just resting on the bottom. I mean, they were smacking those fish over there too. I wonder if they'd hit top water. It's just such a big ocean. And when you can actually find fish, especially feeding fish, like you just, you're in the right area at the right time. Like you can come here, the perfect time, perfect day, perfect tide, perfect moon, perfect everything. And there could just be no fish here. You just gotta put in the time. That's why I give so much credit to saltwater fishermen because no day is the same as another day, you know? See now, here's the thing with saltwater too. Like just as easy as we came here, somehow we saw the fish, they were jumping right out in front of us over there to the right a little bit. Just as easy as that happened, they could just move on. I mean, you'd think they'd kind of be swimming back and forth here looking for bait, but they could go all the way to the left looking for bait, you know? That was a couple different schools right there. I don't know if they were all kind of part of one school. That was freaking cool. Oh. He was coming for it. I just had one hit me. See if we can get him, come on. Please. Scared? Question mark? Come on, I've come all this way. From vending machines not working, to shallow beaches with seaweed, to losing a freaking nice fish on the jetty. <sighs> all right, stop playing. So we switched out. This is a pretty freaking small lure. I think that this, out of anything we've been throwing, Go. is going to uh, kind of resemble the bait fish that these fish feed on and you know match the hatch a little bit more so we'll see I mean I had one follow that bigger one that we were just throwing but he's just a little 
nervous. What is that? What is that? Is that a freaking bass? I don't know. I did not think so. Okay, it's not actually. How do we get this up? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, <laughs> holy crap, dude. Oh, don't go in the rocks. First fish of the day is a shad. He just came up and gulped that thing, dude. No, 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 chill, chill, chill. Braid on the hand is not a friend of mine. We're all right, we're friends. We're not gonna be friends if that hook goes on me. Ow, dude. <sighs> okay, um, that was unexpected. Let's get him back in there. What the heck? I saw him, he came up, it was like almost like a top water. It was like right subsurface. He just, I could tell it wasn't a striper right away. Just by the way, he like, I feel like he ate it and just like didn't run with it. He just kind of like, what is even today, dude? First fish. I mean, that was a good size one too. That's not what we expected. That's for sure. We're just trying to find something before this tide goes completely out. What time is it actually? All right, so we still have an hour and 20 minutes of this tide going out. So unfortunately that might be pushing fish away from us, but you guys got our first fish right there. I just really want to catch our first striper. I know I said I wanted like a fish today, but now it's for sure not. I just want a striper. We had one on earlier. We had some, uh, something happen. <laughs> I don't even know that was really my fault. It was just tough, especially with this jetty, the way it's configured. Any shad, striper. Either way, man, a fish is a fish. That is just so cool. I was on the smaller bait as well. Ooh, I just got... I got something. That's a striper. That's a striper. That's a striper. Out in the middle, we got him. Okay, how do we get him up? Oh, dude, I see it. That's a striper. He's trying to shake. He's trying to shake. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is going to be tough for both of us. But we're going to get up here somehow. Oh, my God. He's in the... Oh, my gosh. Come here. Don't break my rod. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. Woo! I got to admit, I think this might be my favorite fish to catch. Not this exact one right here, no offense to you, buddy, but straight bass in general. I mean, it doesn't matter where. We were catching him in little creeks sometimes in Delaware. He's not gonna like that. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got you. Oh my gosh. Way too much freaking fun of a fight. They're just fun like, to search for, you know? Coming out here, I mean, I thought maybe on the beach, up maybe on the jetty we got on jetty we lost it we got something else on the jetty but oh man very very beautiful fish i mean we're just going to release him as easily as we can right yeah that was actually it was good for our circumstances so i guess the freaking bait that they're wanting is something smaller and more natural like probably what they're feeding on which I, it makes sense man oh i'm so freaking hyped all right let's see if we get some more here Again, tide's going out. I don't know how much time we really have or how shallow this really gets. For all I know, it could freaking turn into just sand. He like nipped it and came back for it too. Oh my gosh, dude. If you have not already, man, we really would be a lot to go down there. Hit that thumbs up button on this video. It really does help out the channel. And as always in a first state fishing video, you never know what you're freaking going to get. We go to a vending machine, get mackerel. Somehow we're on a jetty. <laughs> really, really, really cool first day of, uh, fishing in this spot in Maine. That first one we hooked was bigger, like decently bigger. Like I don't know how we would have got him up. It's just like, once you start stepping on these rocks, even when they don't have the green stuff on them, when they're just wet and haven't been, you know, hit by the sun or anything, it's just like, you're stepping on ice, man. One of my goals on this road trip is to run into a blitz, like striper, big, big freaking striper blitz. And uh, the next spot we're going to, maybe this spot as well. I got to search around a little more, but could be very possible, man. But yeah, from the big ocean saltwater to the little creeks that uh, we fished in Delaware when it would flood and everything. Dude, these fish, they just have a special place in my freaking heart.
All right, so back at the camper now, just finished up editing this video. I just gotta say thank you guys so much for all the support, man, over this past couple years, and uh, it really does mean a lot to me, man. If you are not already, but you do want to see more videos, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. The giveaway winners from last video, I like filmed this video before that video was even posted, so the giveaway winners from last video will be announced in the next video, and uh, yeah, man, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Like, if you made it this far. I appreciate you. I'm freaking tired, dude. I gotta finish editing this video. But as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next. You time. wanna know just where?